How is the critical acclaim different now versus the critical acclaim that you received as individuals? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give my perspective on it. Well, you know, first of all, we put it in the hands of the, of, of the listeners and the music, the fans and the supporters and the people who are like going to be in the front row of this show tonight. They got the record first. And they decided they loved it. And once they decided they loved it, we were just very happy already, you know? To get the, to get the love, critical love, was, you know, anybody, any artist will tell you in this business, getting that is a big deal. You love it, you want it. It doesn't mean the end of your career. It doesn't mean the end of what you're trying to do if you don't get it. But it, it's it's a very it's you know you can't, what can you say about it, man? You're like you just woo, yeah. You know you just you just are happy. You know it's like that's great. I'm glad that people are showing love for this and that it's clicking with people. Well, me and Mike, we do what we do. You know we we love this music and we've been making music and kind of by our own accord. You know always and. Um, it would be disingenuous for me to say like, oh, the, yeah, the reviews don't matter to us. Like, no, of course they matter. Like, we we want we want to be you know, we want people to get what we're doing. Mm -hmm. and it's very very mind blowing and, and overwhelming to to see the love and the, and the support that's that's happening for this record. And we thought maybe people would like it, but we didn't expect what had happened. You know, we didn't expect this. And in a lot of ways, our lives have changed in the last three weeks. Mike, you've had a lot of history, a lot of connections made throughout the years in your career. Big Boy, of course, is still involved and in you guys are on the label for Nas. Is there anything that you wish you could have done earlier in your career in terms of trying to achieve this level of recognition? I mean, everything I went through, I had to go through, you know, to be here and to truly appreciate this moment. You know, in my, you know, my selfish, egotistical way, yeah, you wish this had happened 11 years ago and then it'll be, it'll be filthy rich and stinking and crazy right now, absolutely. But, yeah. you know, I can just say that, um, you know, I said years ago that your work ethic will determine your worth. I said that on Pledge One. And when I said it, I knew that I was saying something that was, you know, it had a certain amount of depth to it. So I never let myself get out of the work ethic of making dope music. And, you know, the worth part seems to be paying off right now. So I'm very, I'm very happy about it. You know, um, you know, I, I, I don't know what else to say. You know, it's, it feels like a real renaissance. And, and it feels like we're on the cusp of it. So I'm happy to be one half of RTJ and doing what I'm doing with it. Right. So it goes back to that sports analogy, right? You're on that team for 10 years. Yeah. You, you get close to the championship, but yeah. you're just kind of like yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah, he's a good player, right? Exactly, yeah, exactly. I'm following all this. Okay, you get, you get this It's one, Garnett. Right? It's Garnett. Yeah. It's Garnett. It's Kevin yeah. Garnett. Yeah, it's Garnett. We're showing up like, you know, like nobody even was watching the Timberwolves, and then you know, like his man Stephon Dip, you know, it was like. Right. But man, that man popped up, man, in Boston, and like became even more than champion, just like leader. And now even up in there, I had, had to take him up to Jersey. Yeah. You know, so my thing is like, yeah, like I, it's nothing wrong with a Garnett-like career. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like Where you're good, you and not good. Like, oh, he's good. Like good. Right. But then your greatness gets to shine in there for a team like Boston. So for me and L to be doing this right now, it's a story, you know, and I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it more and more. Well, you guys make some awesome music. Uh, I know you've heard the accolades and thank critics you very and so much. forth, but thank you. thank you for making some great music. Thank, thank you. It's great to meet you guys. So Continue much. success. Thank you so much. It's Run Thanks. the Jewels. The album is called Run the Jewels 2. You're watching B-Sides on here.